Sal Intradonato here for RecordOnline.com. This is Nightcap. We're recapping a 25-11 Wake Forest victory over Army at Mikey Stadium here in West Point. And it's a game where Army led 11-10 on three on the strength of three field goals by Dan Gruchowski with 3.44 left in the uh, third quarter. Uh, Wake Forest scores the last two touchdowns. It turns into a game where it was competitive toward the end of the third quarter to where Army is playing second and third string guys late in the fourth quarter. Where did the game go all wrong? Um, I don't know. Penalties by Army. Eight penalties, I believe. Six false start penalties on Army's offensive line. One came on a field goal attempt, but so five on offense, false start penalties. Uncharacteristic of Army. Terry Baggett said that, you know, they don't do that in practice. They didn't do that last week against the number five team in the country, Stanford. And there's just a lot of frustration on this with the team because last week they put in a great effort against Stanford, came up short against the number five team in the country, like we said. And today, it's they, I mean, they're missing Larry Dixon and Ray Maples, two of their starting running backs, two guys they count on heavily, but they just can't get into the end zone. Um, Post-game press conference, Jeff Bacon's uh, junior safety it was, was very upset. I mean, Jeff Bacon has had enough with them just not being able to get over the hump and get a victory. And I don't know if this is as much as the defense's fault today as the offense. We talked about the penalties. We talked about two A.J. Shore fumbles when he came in um, for Angel Santiago on the third and fourth drives of the game. Now, Wake Forest only scored three points against Army um, on those two turnovers, but still the momentum gets killed a little bit. Um, today, Kelvin White, sophomore quarterback, comes in. On the final drive of the game, throws the ball a little bit, around a little bit. Xavier Moss has eight catches today, but a lot were on the final drive there with White. Um, it's just really a, a, a puzzling result here because Army was capable, like Jeff Bacon said, of beating this team. And Bacon said that Army beat themselves today with the penalties, with not getting off the field on third, on some key third downs. With Josh Harris, uh, the last scoring drive for Wake Forest, Josh Harris is carrying the ball, I believe, seven times on the drive and picking up chunks of yards, finished off with a six-yard run. And that was pretty much it. Um, Harris's six-yard run came 9-0-1 left in the game and two-touchdown game for, um, uh, two-touchdown lead for Wake Forest, and you just never felt that Army was going to get in the end zone and even make it, you know, an interesting game after that. Um, really tough loss. Army falls to 1-3 and three on the season. They head to the Cotton Bowl next week and play uh, a Louisiana Tech team who was very good last year, who's still trying to find themselves this year, has a pretty good sophomore running back, and it's going to be uh, back to the basics. One thing I didn't really understand is Army went to a different um, – defensive formation today where they played two down linemen basically pretty much between the guard and tackle and they played two inside linebackers and toward the end of the game I mean uh, Wake Forest's offensive line was just the guards were getting to the second level on the linebackers and there were no adjustments by Army really I mean that's when Josh Harris pre pre pretty much sealed the game uh, Harris had um Harris had 96 yards rushing uh, today. He had 55 yards in the first three games for Wake Forest. So, I mean, he did run for 129 last year, First Army, but um, he really picked it up in the fourth quarter, late third quarter, early fourth quarter, and Army just didn't have an answer on defense. I know they're a little banged up on defense. Uh, Joe Drummond didn't play today, but I mean, something you figured there would be an adjustment here or there to uh, get off, get the defense off the field. Um, like we said, another, another tough loss here at Mikey Stadium for Army. And um, we'll see how this, what this team's made of uh, going on the road. They only have two more home games left out of their last eight games. So uh, they're going to have to win on the road, something that they haven't done since uh, the bowl game in 2010 in Dallas. So um, we'll, we'll see what Coach Rich Ellerson has. Um, he was, he, Coach Rich Ellerson didn't have, didn't, uh, didn't have an opening statement today. He just fielded questions right away, and he wasn't really a – uh, he was very uh, somber. But one other thing we'll talk about real quick is the end of the first half where Army recovers a fumble. Thomas Holloway on Wake Forest is 28. Uh, Wake Forest is 41 with 28 seconds left. Now Army, the game right there, the game is a 10-5 game at, at the time. And Army, if they can get a field goal, even make it 10-8, they would take some momentum in the halftime. One play out to the sideline, so Xavier Moss, he can't get out of bounds. Angel Santiago spikes the ball with 11 seconds left. Then they throw an out, um, I guess like a sideline pass to Siobhan Lawrence, but it's a little bit too close, not not close enough to the sidelines where um, Lawrence can't get out of bounds. He just falls on the ground and the, the clock runs out, so they get nothing from that. 
uh, tur turnover. And if they maybe if they would have taken some momentum with a field goal there into the locker room, they would have came out and maybe had a little bit of fire, maybe score, get in the end zone a couple times in the second half, but it just never happened. Um, that'll do it for recordonline.com. This was Nightcap. I'm Sal Interdonala. <laughs> How are we supposed to feel after a loss? You know, we're not we're not playing to lose out there. And after a game like this, like no disrespect to Wake Forest, but they didn't beat us. We beat ourselves. You know, and that that that's a that's a carryover from, from last week. Like no disrespect to Stanford. Stanford's a great program, but that's us messing up. That, that's not them doing nothing nothing crazy. You know, we everything they threw at us, we we, we could handle. And everything they threw at us, we did handle. But you know, it's it's those it's one time, it's those couple times that that we slip up. You know, we, we need to we need to learn from this. Like, when is it gonna get to the point where we're done slipping up? When is it gonna get to the point where we're gonna play consistent football? You know what I'm saying? You play a team like Wake Forest, yeah, yeah, they're good. No, like, no disrespect to them, but they shouldn't have won that game. Point blank, period. You know, we gave them that. That's us. What has to change, Jeff? Uh, consistency. You know, we, we need to play consistent. You know, it, it's not enough just to to smack a running back or smack a receiver one time. It's it. Like like Glover, like well, the Leon was balling, but it's it's not enough for them to just get just ball one half, one quarter. You know, we, we need to be hungry for the, the whole the entire game. Yeah, no, that that's and that's so um uncharacteristic. I mean, that that's not that's something we really pride ourselves on. We work so hard on. So, um, you know, the, some of those wrinkles. I, I I guess what I want to say is maybe some of those wrinkles that we were trying to to uh, compensate for some personnel challenges. The wrinkles were harder for us than they were for our opponent. Uh, but frankly, in the offensive line, at least, that's um, we, we were able to keep it pretty consistent. Oh, it's, it's, it, what it is, it's, 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 as I say, it's every, every <coughs> week's a, a battle. Every week's its own monster. And, and uh, uh, you know, we had some, we had some built-in challenges coming out of last week, and we, we, had a, we had a plan. And a lot of those things were, were, uh, were you know, that, that we found some things that are going to stay a part of us uh, as a result, um, but we, we didn't have it. We didn't have a uh, you know we, you know, we kicked three field goals. You know, it's safety that, that it, that's that's going to make it hard to win a division one. I mean, execution killed a lot of our momentum. Uh, false starts in the middle of drives and the end of drives. So I mean, we we get those out of our game. We, we get small plays. We don't necessarily need big plays. Our offense isn't built on big plays. It's built on continual four or five, ten yard games. And when we don't execute, when we get false starts in critical situations, I mean, that, that hurts. Um, we didn't do that in practice. We didn't do that last week. I mean, it's something that we gotta, we gotta address because that's not how we play. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely disappointing, you know, coming off of you know, you know, some strong performance against Stafford and coming and play how we did today. We're we're definitely tremendously better than what we showed today. <laughs>